So I had an absolutely epic day of karting at Sandown Park with Hussein Rashid. Also, hello everyone, how are you all doing? Um, good to be back and a bit of a karting shenanigans with Hussein as we went to Sandown Park. We thought we'd have a bit of a blast. So we all started in practice where we, we, we just traded positions and honestly, I was smiling the entire, entire time because it was just so much fun racing and doing switchbacks on each other, letting each other pass, slowing down so that the other could catch up and just having an absolutely epic battle. Some of the most, the best value for money uh, I've had in karting just because you're going karting with a mate who's around the same pace as you and you can just have a laugh, especially when he goes wide into, into tire barriers. I then slow down, let Hussein catch up. We both take this line where we just slam the steering wheel and hope it grips and we get a slightly better drive because, you know, we're better. Um, I can't really say that because the same did beat me at the end. Spoilers, I mean, what? Um, so yeah, we, we get a decent run. We go up the inside again and it was practice. We got a 20 minute practice session before the race because we thought, why not? Let's uh, let's just keep it going. And Zane gets a good run out of the corner. He's on the inside. So we're gonna be like, yeah, you can have the inside of Zane. We know what we're doing. We're, we're gonna get the switch back. Although, um, yeah, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't quite work. But then we get a good run through the right hander, but it's, it's not good enough. So that time round, Hussein does beat us. But then we get a good run out of the final corner. And in case anyone's wondering, he did weigh about two kilos more than me, or three kilos more, which doesn't really count. And uh, I mean, what a, what a noddy spinning into turn one while having a battle. I would never do something like that. He goes up my inside into this right hand as we hang around the outside. And, and then we've got the inside for the left and the same's probably still up my inside. Then there's this back marker. I'm like, oh, he's gonna go wide. I'll go to the inside. Then he holds it tight. And the same's like, thank you very much. I'll go, I'll go round the outside, carry the speed, gets in front of me. But now we've got a drag race to turn one. Uh, yellow flag was up and then it's gone. Hussein's on the outside, that's where the grip is. So he gets the position and we can't squeeze our nose back up the inside. But then a lap later, we get a good run out of the final corner. We're gonna try to go up the inside, but this time we don't go up the inside. We go wide, we cut back in. We're using our smarts here, our racing driver prowess as we go up the inside into turn at two and we retake the position and thank you very much. And then does the same come up my inside here? Yeah, no, because I look to the inside and then I go wide carrying too much speed. But it doesn't matter because we're faster than the same. So, so we, we catch up to him again. And look at the same. He's just trying to block me. That's all this guy was doing the entire day. He was just blocking me. Goes to the inside. So I'm like, okay, buddy, I'll go to the outside. We're going to overtake him around the outside. Wipe the dust off our shoulder. Thank you very much. Um, but, he, but he's still there, isn't he? Isn't he? He's still going to be there. Is he, is he there? Yeah, not really. We overtook him round the outside. We'll take that one. Um, very, very juicy indeed. And then we let him through, of course, um, so that we could then try to overtake him once more. And we get a beautiful, a gorgeous drive out of this corner. We're still side by side. He's got a slightly better drive, but we have the inside. And we're later on to the brakes into the corner and uh, up a position we go. And that was the end of our practice shenanigans. On it to the race shenanigans. And I want to go down the middle, but Hussein gets there first. And look, he's gone. See, I had to slow down. And then there's a cone. And we avoid the cone. Um, I, I do a little hand like, why is there a cone there? And now I'm just chilling as we try to go, get through some of these back markers. We're going to go up the inside. Nope, we're going to um, end up sliding wide. There's a yellow flag. So we, um, we overtake the spun carts. Then we overtake everyone else we need to overtake. I'm going to be honest. It is really fun doing karting open sessions, starting from the back of the grid. This was just so much fun to do because it's just like, you can overtake whoever it is in any way you want uh, because you're just that much better. But it's like, what is the best way to do it? Uh, especially when you're racing with someone to go up through the field. We go up the inside of two drivers into that right-hander and then there's a spinner in front of us. We avoid it, but we still get a decent drive. So it's, it's all well and good and to be honest it was just really really fun um i can't say anything more than that it was just a really really fun day of karting it was cold don't care it was just brilliant uh we gained a few more places and then into the final corner but okay you guys are here to see the epic battle between me and hussein to see who is truly the better driver of course it's me but with that said we've done the first lap. i thought i'd include the first lap because the first lap was very 
fun as we go into this little yellow flag zone. People are spinning all over the place. We overtake this guy. But back to the battling with Hussein. And here we go. We, we eventually caught up to Hussein because while he was ahead, he wasn't that far ahead. We get a really good run. We get past him. We're like, oh, we touched you, Hussein. I'm really sorry. I'm going to let you through because I'm nice. And then he, like, shakes his finger like, I'm sorry, but that move was perfectly fine. Go and watch that back in 0 0.25 speed. That was quality, that was clean. And then look, there's a yellow flag here. See that light, that, that means it's a yellow flag. No overtaking until you get to the incident. Guy telling us to slow down. And then here comes Hussein overtaking me before we get to the incident. And then we get on the power and we get past him. So he's probably learning us back through, but I'm still going to flame him and critique him for overtaking me under yellows. Absolutely unacceptable. Someone could have died. Um, and then he goes up my inside, very rude. So I decide to show Hussein what a switchback looks like in the race. Uh, because obviously practice do doesn't fully count, so fine, we'll go into the race. Job done, up the inside we go. Um, very nice. But then a lap later, we're, we're going up the inside of a back marker. And as I go onto the brakes, my brakes failed and uh, I spun. And honestly, it's very disastrous. Um, I've had words with Daytona Sandown Park about why their brakes failed and I spun. They didn't actually spin. I'm being sarcastic in case anyone hasn't realized. Hussein then did slow down so I could catch back up. And I'm like, thank you very much, son. Uh, allow me to show you who the superior driver is once more. See, because Hussein's just going in too quickly into the corner. We're calm, we're collected, we get the switch back. We get the job done and uh, Hussein's going to try to pull up alongside us, but there's a yellow flag, but I have to be careful now because I can't slow down under yellow flags because Hussein might overtake. See, look at that. Okay, to be fair, I do that as well. Um, but we hold on to the position as the superior driver and we go into the final corner. Hussein's going to send it. We're going to get the drive though. And then look at Hussein. He just squeezes us onto the grass. And there's like a little puddle in the dip and I got wet. But critically, I got past him. And that, that is what truly matters. And then there's a couple of spinners. There's a yellow flag. I have a little look over my shoulder to um, just see if Hussein's squeezing up my inside. He is because it turns out that through turn one, uh, the, the dry line, the tighter line was actually quicker. But it doesn't matter because we're so much quicker that we can make the slower line work. We're going to go up the inside into this corner. But I'm now fully expecting Hussein to get the switch back. And he does. But now we've got the outside for the next corner. So instead of having the inside, we've got the outside. The outside is good. There's a yellow flag. And then see that Hussein overtakes me again under yellow flags although in fairness he was pretty much alongside me he's now on the outside we're going to go for a switch back but he very very smartly parks it on the apex i get the run and then there's a yellow flag so i've got to back out of the move and i can't overtake him because i 100 percent would have got him into that corner another yellow flag um but we see the incident and now we go and we overtake this back marker we go up the inside of hussein there's another cart coming up we're going to go up the inside that cart spins and uh, I think Hussein lost a, a second or so in the process as um, we get the job done and get past. So obviously, I felt bad for Hussein, so I slowed down. I let him catch back up with two laps to go. And then he goes up my inside into this corner. And we're like, let the battle recommence. One and a half laps remaining. It's a straight dogfight to the end of the race. No back markers in front of us. This is how racing should be. He just... He's just looking in his mirrors, just going wherever I'm going. It's very evil. It's very disrespectful. From it's, it's not. It's really good, fun battling. And now I'm like, okay, I'm on the outside. Let's hang it round the outside into the final corner. Full sell, full send. Balls of steel. We're on the outside. We've got the drive just like before. But is it good enough? We've got the outside, though, for turn one. Hussein, though, he's been making the inside line work. But I say, I don't care. Full send around the outside. We're hanging on. We're making the move work. We look to make sure we have passed him. Then we kind of close the door. And then on the outside for this right-hander, Hussein makes a tight line work as per usual. And then we go up the inside. And I'm like, oh, no, Hussein's going to get the switch back. I thought about parking it on the apex. But I just didn't do it because I was silly. And now there's a yellow flag up ahead. Hussein's just about ahead of me or alongside. So we plan it. We get the switch back. And now I'm like, can I go up the inside? No. Yeah, Hussein's going to cover it. I'm going to look for the switch back. But I just get a little bit too wide onto the wet stuff because there was a little puddle out there. And look at Hussein. I've got the drive, but he bangs side pods with me. So I lose my momentum. Very, very smart and cheeky driving from Hussein. Uh, there is a yellow flag there, but I didn't see it. So I then went up the inside into this corner. There was a yellow flag, so I was like, I've got it. And then the same goes up my inside into the yellow flag. And it was the final lap of the race. So out comes the checkered flag. And Hussein cheers uh, as he gets the greatest victory of his life. But 
an absolutely fantastic battle and uh, it was just so much fun. Uh, the only thing that was more fun than battling with, with Saint in uh, the wet conditions at San Sander was uh, taking the piss out of him in this video. But at the end of the day, he beat me, so he is the better carter until we go to Daytona again to do more karting. Um, but yeah, no, absolutely fantastic. And thanks as well to everyone at Daytona um, for hosting us, letting us start from the back and uh, just having an absolute blast. So if you guys want to do some good karting, make sure to hit up Sandell Park or, or Milton Keynes or even Tamworth via the Sonsodies or D-Maxes. Thank you everyone for tuning in and I'll see you all for the next video. Goodbye.